Good morning and welcome back to Splint Construction and working with monomer and polymer to create acrylic. And today we're going to be going over how to make an SRS superior repositioning splint. And for the last five minutes, I've been soaking my model in this water uh, just to make it easier when I take the splint off. Um, we have mounted these models together and I'm going to take the wax bite and toss that to the side and move the water back. And on the previous videos, I've made the pink retainer and yesterday I made the pink splint, but today we're going to jazz it up and make a pink and blue. So let's get started with the monomer. We're gonna start on the patient's upper right buckle. And you know what, before I do that, I wanna show you something. Um, this is the pin, and we're gonna go ahead and set our pin height. So if you screw this down, it will actually open up the bite. And so this is gonna tell us um, how, how thick we're going to make this splint. Um, for most adults, you know, you don't want to make it too thick because then they're not going to want to wear it, especially at work, if they need to wear it 24 hours a day. Um, and it won't be easy to sleep in. And so you can see here, if we're going to make it as thin as possible, it'll be thinner back here but thicker up here because we want all of the teeth to touch at the same time. So it will have to be thicker in the anterior and thinner in the posterior. So we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna set the pin height by moving this washer up and tightening it. And now it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So <clears throat> now we will go to the buckle on the upper right side and let's start with pink. And we're gonna wanna keep this parallel wherever you're working because if you tilt it, then you're gonna be wasting the polymer. So making sure we, we hold the model, keep it parallel. There's a couple of different methods of doing this. But since you guys are beginners to working with acrylic and the salt and pepper technique, we're just gonna do it this way and then add in some detailed things later on. Okay. So once we're done working on one side, I will go to the lingual. Then the occlusal surface, the biting surface. One of the techniques I'll show you is when we get some rope wax, I'll line it around so it kind of acts like a shelf so we lose even less polymer. Okay, now let's move on to your social six. We're gonna work on the upper right side first because we're gonna make the left side blue for fun. And I'll should so be able to show you, in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to see <clears throat> the um, thinness of the acrylic when you have a darker color like that. 
I like working with blue a lot. Now we're going to go to the facial surface. And now the incisal edge. Let's switch gears and go to the patient's left side and put the blue on there on the lingual surface. Remember that everything that the tongue touches when the teeth are biting together is touching the lingual surface, the inside. to the facial sizal edge. Okay. Now to the lingual posterior. Now let's go to the buckle surface. And you can see how with the blue, the white plaster shows through it, so it makes it really easy to see those thin areas. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more pink over here. Now, 
<clears throat> this comes to fun part. We're gonna close this and you can see how it's touching in one, two, three, three areas. And so in order to make all of the teeth touch at the same time, we're gonna need to build it up in those areas that have space between them. So let's start with the posterior on the upper right. Add a little bit of monomer so it sticks better. And just build it up. see it touches in that posterior. So we're just going to work our way around. need to build it up a little bit where the central and laterals touching perfect all right, good indentions. Now let's work with the blue. All right, let's go ahead and check our bite. It's really good in the back. I'm gonna wet this a little bit. Okay, and I especially want to check the anterior where the color changes from pink to blue to make sure I'm not making that too thin just for the sake of making a cool splint, two different colors. Okay, so I think we got that. And now we're gonna put it in water for 20 minutes and let that set up. On the next video, I will show you how we're gonna take that out and start to um, break it off of the, the model. And then once we break it off the model, we'll be able to use the slow speed 
with an acrylic burr. It's a football shaped acrylic burr. And just kind of go around it and take that off. Okay?